Fever is brought to you by F&B. F&B, how can we help you? Hazel. What? From now on, Rex will be spending time in my bedroom. And I don't expect you to have a problem with that. Unless you'd like for me to tell him that you have been trying to bribe his son into leaving. While you are worried about somersault timetables, Rex is promoting Chelo over you. That doesn't bother me, Hazel. I'm expecting his child. Rex has no plans for you. If he did, he would have asked me for a divorce. Why do you think he hasn't done that? I don't have time for this. You are useless to Rex. He has a wife who he loves and trusts. Huh? You are just his play toy and an incubator on the other hand. We will find out what will happen when Rex finds out about the little cella secret. Me and Rex share bigger secrets. I'm his backbone. No amount of wanga or Spider-Man tricks is going to change that. <laughs> you know what, Hazel? We just have to wait and see what Rex will do when he finds out that his backbone has been trying to bribe his own beloved son. Until then, he is spending time in my bedroom. Did you try to pay Chela to make him go away? Of course I did. I don't trust him, so I decided to test him. See if he'll take the money. Well, aren't you asking me what happened? What happened? He took the money. I don't understand. He took it. Why didn't you let me know about this sooner? You wanted to have a blood son so much, and I couldn't find the heart to ruin it for you. I know it's not true. I don't believe you could... Uh, my mother was right about you people. All you think about is money. You know what? I thought your wife was evil. But I think you're worse. Chela. Your wife doesn't pretend. But you? You got me to believe that you are this decent, loving man and father. I knew you had done bad things in the past. But I still believed that you had some good in you. Listen to me, Chela. Keep your son in, sir. I am a warrior, and I always will be. Sunny, listen. Jella, listen. Fever is brought to you by F&B. F&B, how can we help you?